So the topic that I'm, uh, I've been asked for is uh, complications in uh, uh, regeneration. Uh, as uh, uh, strictly speaking about uh, guided bone regeneration, I thought it was a little bit reducing. I, uh, I will talk about uh, regeneration and uh, reconstruction procedure complications. So it will be a little bit wider. Uh, which are the defects that uh, may need uh, regeneration procedures. Uh, we can have uh, horizontal defects, uh, as well known. They can uh, represent an obstacle to place implants of a proper dimension. I would always would like to have this type of profile. We can have vertical defects, and again, we can have interference with the nice prosthetics at the end. We can have uh, maxillary sinus expansion that can reduce the bone and it can be combined also with vertical and or horizontal resorption. That means combination defects. And this is, of course, an even worse situation. And finally, we can have, of course, the extreme uh, cases with extreme atrophy, where also with the narrow, short, and uh, maybe zygoma implants can be difficult to solve the solution in a nice way. So, when we have a bone defect, just to summarize very briefly, uh, the alternatives are represented by uh, implants with reduced dimensions, tilted implants, but I always try to aim to the last one, that is a prosthetically driven reconstruction, that is my most favorite. Of course, I cannot ignore uh, small diameter or uh, short implants in selected cases, but whenever I can, I always try to uh, reconstruct uh, the soft and the hard tissues in the proper way. So the, treat, the main treatment options, they are not included, all of them. You see that there is not uh, splitting of the bone or something like that.